welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn about row sampling. Row sampling the transformation is a transformation that selects some random data from our source data and give us as a sample. In uh, this case, uh, let, let's take this example. We have 100,000 rows and we want to take only maybe 100 or 200 rows for sample. So we want to study that data, but we don't want to spend time on 100,000 rows. Instead of we want to take a sample and study that one. Uh, let's go to the SSDT and uh, take a look how it look and what are the uh, uh, properties we need to configure for this transformation. First of all, it is it is a transformation, so we have to have bring the data flow task so we can use the transformation. Open the data flow task. Now we are reading the data from OLEDB source. If uh, I am reading the data from OLEDB source uh, and then using the um, uh, row sampling, I don't know, I mean, it, maybe this is not the best practice. Uh, uh, why not uh, to use a SQL query and get the random rows uh, uh, by using a SQL, uh, SQL query instead of uh, you bring uh, the data in the memory, block it, and then take the sample out, out of that. So but just for the demo purpose, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So in this case, uh, what we have, we have customer AS table that has some records. Uh, it has first name, last name, address, phone number, region, and uh, the columns. Th the next part, uh, let's bring uh, the transformations. Uh, so it, is, it should be in under the other transformation. If you have old version, you would not see other transformation, but you will see all the transformation. And uh, get the row sampling uh, transformation from there. Connect your OLEDB source, uh, or if you are reading from flat file, uh, can, you know whatever the source you are using, connect to the row sampling. This, this uh, one more point I would like to say: if you are reading the data from flat file, Excel, or XML file, maybe the row sampling uh, sampling is a good transformation to use, uh, as data is not in SQL Server or Oracle or uh, relational databases. If the data is in a relational databases, you can use the query to get random records, and uh, that's how you, you can save some time. With millions of rows uh, coming from a uh, source, uh, you are putting everything in memory, and uh, the uh, row sampling is blocking uh, uh, transformation. So it's going to block everything and uh, put the data in memory, and then take a sample of that and give us output. So the, uh, let's open the row sampling. Now it is asking us uh, how many rows uh, you want to take as a sample. Uh, let's take hundred rows from our um, input. Now the next part is in sample output name sample selected output this is the selected part which will be uh, 100 rows and the rest of that rows will be going to the unselected output name so we are it is creating two outputs uh, for us the next uh, property is called use the following random seed so if you will uh, check this box and provide the seed by yourself it is going to take that seed again and again and give you the same data over and over so leave this one unchecked if uh, you want to get the random rows uh, um, every time so click on columns we have the column first name last name address we can make our selection if we don't care about id and uh, join column so uh, remove those column from the selection hit ok now the next part is we want to write the data to maybe excel file or a, a csv or maybe a, some other table and uh, people can use from there but um, in my case i'm going to use uh, the multicast transformation here and just put the data viewer so you can see the data so here we have sampling selected output and then uh, on the other side i'm going to get this uh, multicast just for the test purpose uh, multicast is not doing anything here just uh, um, as a dummy uh, transformation so we can implement data viewer between it here uh, i'm selecting uh, all those columns what i need to see and uh, they will be for 100 rows because it's sampled or sampling a selected output. I'm not going to uh, put a um, data viewer for a sampling unselected data. I don't care about that. Let's run the SSIS package. And now we can see that we got the 100 rows 
uh, row displays and these are all random rows in my case uh, i have what i have done uh, actually i uh, uh, replicated these record over and over to make it uh, a large table so these are duplicate records and uh, that, that's what you see but still uh, uh, you can understand uh, okay the, we are reading this data and there is duplicate records in this data even we took the 100 record uh, random records so you can uh, further make decisions and uh, clean your data in the source side uh, one last thing I would like to uh, say it again row sampling is a block uh, transformation it blocks the data then it gave the output so make sure if you do not need to use it don't use it uh, if you can do the things in the um, SQL server side you can always uh, use a new ID or different other functions uh, uh, to get the random uh, rows uh, from a uh, SQL server table so and you don't want to put um, 50 million records in the memory and get a uh, hundred sample rows out of that uh, you might want to insert uh, into the SQL server table and then use a query to get those hundred hundred random records uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video